Picture this. You're sitting in a dentist's chair, but instead of drilling or fitting implants, your doctor is preparing an injection that will literally grow you a brand new tooth. Not a prosthetic, not a crown. An actual living tooth that your body produces from scratch. Sounds like science fiction? It's happening right now in Kyoto, Japan. While most of us have resigned ourselves to a world of dentures, bridges, and titanium implants when teeth go missing, a small team of Japanese researchers has been quietly working on something that sounds almost too good to be true. They've developed a drug, TRG035, that doesn't just replace missing teeth, it makes your body grow new ones. Think about that for a moment. We've all heard the tired joke about wisdom teeth being the only thing that grows back that we don't want. But what if that wasn't true? What if there was a third set of teeth hiding in your jaw, waiting for the right signal? Because here's the thing that'll blow your mind. There actually is. The hidden truth about human teeth. Most people know we get two sets of teeth in life baby teeth and adult teeth. We're what biologists call diphyodonts. But here's what your dentist probably never told you. The genetic machinery for a third set is already there, locked away in your DNA like some dormant superpower. Dr. Katsu Takahashi figured this out. He's an oral surgeon at Kyoto University, and he spent years wondering why some people are born missing teeth while others get too many. What he discovered changes everything we thought we knew about dental biology. It turns out there's a protein called USAG1. Think of it as a molecular bouncer standing at the door of tooth development. This protein's job is basically to say nope to any attempts at growing a third set of teeth. It blocks two crucial signaling pathways, BMP and WINT, that are essential for tooth formation. Why would our bodies have this system? Evolution, probably. A third set of teeth might crowd out the second set or cause other problems. So somewhere along the evolutionary timeline, mammals developed this protein to keep things tidy. Two sets, max. But what if you could temporarily disable that bouncer? That's exactly what TRG035 does. It's a monoclonal antibody, essentially a highly targeted molecular weapon that seeks out and neutralizes USAG1. Remove the break, and suddenly those dormant tooth-forming pathways spring to life. From mice to humans, the long road to your mouth. Takahashi didn't jump straight to human trials. That would be insane, even for groundbreaking research. Instead, he started with mice. Inject the drug, wait, and new teeth actually appeared. Not just tooth-like structures, complete, functional teeth with roots, enamel, everything. But mice teeth aren't human teeth. So they tried ferrets next. Ferrets, it turns out, have dental structures remarkably similar to ours. Again, success. Then dogs, same result. By 2020, Takahashi was convinced enough to co-found Toragen Biopharma and start the slow, careful march toward human trials. He partnered with Wuex Biologics, a major contract research organization, because developing a drug like this requires serious infrastructure and expertise. The FDA and other regulatory agencies don't mess around when it comes to new drugs, especially ones that fundamentally alter how your body works. Every step has to be documented, every safety concern addressed, every potential side effect catalogued. What's actually happening right now?
As of fall 2024, 30 adults between 30 and 64 are participating in Phase 1 trials at Kyoto University Hospital. Each participant is missing at least one tooth. They're not using people with full sets because, well, where would the new tooth go? This first phase isn't even about whether the drug works. That's phase two and three territory. Right now, they're just trying to figure out if it's safe and what dose to use. Can you inject this stuff into humans without causing horrible side effects? What's the right amount? How does the body process it? It's methodical, careful work. The kind that takes years and costs millions, but is absolutely necessary when you're trying to fundamentally alter human biology. Here's what makes this particularly fascinating. They're not targeting general tooth loss, at least not initially. The plan is to focus on children born with congenital tooth agenesis, a condition where multiple teeth simply never develop. It affects about 1% of the population, and right now, those kids are looking at a lifetime of complex dental work. Imagine being able to give a 10-year-old and watch their missing teeth actually grow in naturally. No implants, no bridges, no years of orthodontic work. Just teeth, the way nature intended. The science of growing teeth. Let's talk about what actually happens when TRG035 goes to work in your mouth. This isn't magic, it's incredibly sophisticated biology. Tooth development is controlled by what scientists call signaling pathways. Think of them as molecular conversations between different types of cells. When everything works correctly, these conversations result in the formation of tooth buds, which then develop into fully functional teeth complete with enamel, dentin, pulp, and roots. The BMP pathway is crucial for determining where teeth form and how they develop. The WNT pathway helps coordinate the entire process, ensuring that all the different cell types work together properly. USAG1 normally suppresses both of these pathways after your permanent teeth come in. When TRG03 neutralizes USAG1, it's like removing a dam. Suddenly, those pathways can flow freely again. Dormant stem cells that have been waiting in your jaw for decades get the signal they've been waiting for. Time to make a tooth. The process isn't instant. Growing a tooth takes months, even with pharmaceutical intervention. But unlike implants or dentures, the end result is a living, fully integrated part of your body. It has blood supply, nerve connections, the ability to sense temperature and pressure. It's not just functional, it's actually alive. Why this matters more than you think. The global dental implant market is worth billions of dollars annually, and it's growing fast as populations age. But implants, good as they are, aren't perfect. They can fail, they require surgery, and they never quite feel like your original teeth. More importantly, there are millions of people who can't get implants. Children whose jaws are still growing, people with certain medical conditions, those who can't afford the procedure. Tooth agenesis affects hundreds of thousands of children worldwide, and current treatment options are limited and expensive. A drug that could stimulate natural tooth regrowth would democratize dental care in ways we're only beginning to understand.
Instead of complex surgery requiring specialized facilities, you might be looking at something as simple as an outpatient injection. But let's be realistic about the timeline. Professor Andre Kang from Queen Mary University of London put it perfectly. Getting from successful trials to widespread availability isn't a short sprint, but back-to-back -back ultra marathons. Even if Phase 1 trials are successful, and that's still a big if, you're looking at years of additional testing. Phase 2 will test whether the drug actually works in humans. Phase 3 will compare it to current treatments and look for rare side effects that only show up in larger populations. Then there's regulatory approval, manufacturing scale-up, distribution, training healthcare providers, determining pricing and insurance coverage. The researchers are optimistically targeting 2030 for commercial availability, assuming everything goes perfectly. The skeptical voice in your head. Right about now, you're probably thinking this sounds too good to be true. Fair enough. Promising medical breakthroughs fail all the time. Most drugs that work in animal studies never make it to market. There are legitimate concerns. What happens if you grow too many teeth? What if they grow in the wrong places? Could stimulating tooth growth trigger other biological processes you don't want? The human mouth is a complex ecosystem, and messing with fundamental developmental pathways could have unintended consequences. Then there's the economic reality. If this drug actually works, it threatens entire industries built around managing tooth loss. Dental implant companies, denture manufacturers, even some aspects of orthodontics could see their markets disrupted. That doesn't mean the science is wrong, but it does mean the path to market might be more complex than purely scientific considerations would suggest. Beyond missing teeth, what's really intriguing is where this research might lead. If you can stimulate tooth regrowth, what else can you regrow? Bone? Cartilage? Other organs? The signaling pathways TRG035 targets aren't unique to teeth. BMP and WNT signaling are involved in the development and maintenance of many different tissues. Understanding how to precisely control these pathways could open doors to regenerative treatments we can barely imagine. What this means for you. Assuming you're not in the specific demographic for current trials, adults missing teeth who can travel to Kyoto, this research probably doesn't change your immediate dental care plans. Keep brushing, keep flossing, keep seeing your dentist. But if you're a parent of young children, especially children with developmental dental issues, this is worth watching closely. The timeline for pediatric applications might be longer than for adults, but the potential impact is enormous. For the dental profession itself, this represents both an opportunity and a challenge. Dentists who adapt to incorporating regenerative treatments into their practice could find themselves at the forefront of a revolution. Those who resist change might find themselves left behind. The Bigger Picture Sometimes scientific breakthroughs happen incrementally, building slowly on decades of previous work. Other times they arrive like lightning strikes, fundamentally changing what we thought was possible. We're not there yet. Maybe we never will be. Science is littered with promising treatments that never quite worked as hoped. But for the first time in human history, regrowing lost teeth isn't just theoretical. It's happening in real patients with real results being carefully documented and analyzed.
The 30 people in those Phase 1 trials in Kyoto are pioneers, whether they know it or not. They're testing the boundaries of what human biology can accomplish with a little pharmaceutical nudging. If this works, really works, it won't just change dentistry. It'll change how we think about the relationship between medicine and the human body. Instead of just fixing what's broken, we might be able to convince our bodies to fix themselves. That's a revolution worth watching, one tooth at a time.